Okay, welcome to episode 7 of Shadowloo Bootcamp. In this episode, we're going to be covering Street Fighter V's latest character, which is Alex. Uh, we're going to do like we always do with the other characters. We're going to do a full combo guide. We're going to go from the most basic combos up leading up to the most advanced in V-Trigger. In Alex's case in particular, we're actually going to do something different. This combo guide is going to be actually four parts because Alex has a few additional stuff that he has that other characters really don't do. Uh, which is he has a lot of combos that go after trades. Like when you hit another normal and they both hit, he has combos he can follow up after a trade. So that section we're covering it a bit and we're going to do additional content for you guys so that you guys can keep labbing with Alex. So that being said, let's just start with the combo guide. Okay, so first we're going to start off with Alex's uh, combos, basic combos. So we're going to do the same thing that we always do. We're going to start off from his low attacks, then medium attacks, heavies, and so on, and then counter hits. So for his low attacks, he has a certain amount of combos. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem to be a character that has like a lot of conversions Well, at, when you start him off. But from low attacks, he has really simple combos. He has crouching, one of them is crouching light kick, standing light punch into low flash, flash chop. That's pretty much the one that you're your go-to combo. Because uh, what you need to know about his flash, his low flash chop is that you can't combo it off his crouching jab or his standing short. And his crouching short isn't cancelable, so you can't. So you can only combo it after a stand jab which kinda is not as good as you would expect, but well, it's something. So you can either do crouching jab into standing jab into low flash shot or low. If you wanna start off from a low, you can just do crouching short into standing low punch into flash shot, or you can do two standing, standing jabs. Standing low punch actually has good range, relatively good. Uh, you can also do, if you, ma if you didn't go for the if you want to combo right after like a crouching jab, then you should go for EX flash shot. See that one combo. Because from standing short and crouching short, since you can't combo the low flash shots, you can just do your EX version and it'll combo. See, it comes out a bit faster. So basically from his low attacks, that's pretty much all you get. You can't really, see, you can't even combo his, his short right after, because the, uh, this short comes out in 5 frames, stand jab comes out in 4, crouching comes out in 4, so it's all 4 frame normals. And he's relatively simple, that's pretty much all of his, all the combos he has with his shorts. If you manage to have your super and you want to like extend your damage, you can just do that. It has pretty decent damage, you can do, let's see how much that is. 300, uh, 348, that's pretty good damage from a low. Uh, now saying that, we're going to skip on to his medium attacks, so we're going to go to that now. Okay, so now we're going to go to his medium attacks. Um, Alex doesn't have any medium cancelable normals except his standing medium punch. You can't cancel. His crouching medium punch is not cancelable, is not special cancelable. His crouching forward neither, or his standing forward. Like, you can't cancel into anything. So your go-to punish with medium is stand medium punch. Um, his hit stun doesn't allow him to combo his medium flash chop, so you're gonna have to do the same thing that when you do your standing jab into a low flash chop. You're gonna have to do medium into low flash chop or medium into low slash elbow. Those two combo. Okay. So those are pretty good. Uh, I would recommend that you always go for medium into low flash chop because it leaves you right in front. And when it hits, you're plus two, so you could go for something like this and then just do a power bomb right after really good. Stand medium punch actually leaves you at plus five. Um, stand medium punch comes out in six, so by one frame you can't combo it. But if you manage to get a counter hit medium punch, you can just land another one. But since it's plus five, you can actually do stand medium punch into standing jab into low flash shot, or you could do stand medium punch, stand short into EX flash shot, which is pretty good because if you're like more or less walking more or less and you manage to catch him, and you're in a decent range, you can pretty much 
convert it into a combo and get some damage. Or medium into that. And you can always confirm by the special move, and if you need that extra time for the for the confirmation, well then you can always just do the... And that's enough time. The thing is that the jab will, is gonna scale your combo. After doing the standing jab, it's gonna scale the combo a bit more. So it doesn't have that much damage. Um, these His other medium attacks are really good for pokes, but I guess I'll cover that in the section when we're trying to discuss footsies. That's for the next uh, epi that's for episode 7. I'm sorry, this is episode 7. Episode 8, I mean. But right now, those are pretty much all of his medium attacks. All his combos off of medium, actually. Um, you can also combo his... EX slash elbow. It's pretty good. It's not really worth doing it. So if you're gonna do something, it's ma it's better off to just do his EX flash shot because you actually can just dash in. They both leave you in a good frame advantage, so you can just dash up, do a power bomb, or do a forward fierce. So that's pretty much all he has from his medium attacks. Now we're gonna cover all his combos of heavies. He has a lot more because his forward heavy punch is really good and it. Extends for combos, so does a standing fierce. Stan Roundhouse doesn't have a lot of combos, but he has the Stan Fierce, which also is a lot of good combo extender, so we're gonna go for those now. Okay, now for his heavy attacks. In, in Alex's case, his standing fierce is special cancelable, and his forward fierce isn't special cancelable, but it has enough frame advantage that you can actually link right after you hit it. And his crouching fierce is a really good uh, move, it works as an anti air, it's good for combos. So I'm going to start off with Standing Fierce, his combos from Standing Fierce. Uh, same thing that applies with his Flash Chops, you can't combo his Stand Fierce into Fierce Flash Chop, you always have to go one strength lower. So you can always do like Standing Fierce into his Medium Flash Chop, which is this one right here. And Medium Flash Chop actually gives you more frame advantage than his Low Flash Chop. His Medium Flash Chop is plus three on hit. So you can actually like do a stand medium punch, it's gonna get him on counter hit. So you can do this to medium flash chop, or you can do stand fierce into medium flash elbow, slash elbow, it's called. Right after that, you can actually do like an Oki setup if they do kick rise, like you can just do another slash elbow, a uh, let me just show it really quick. You can do something like this. Okay, and it's a meaty. But we're not going to cover those yet. Uh, another thing you can do is his standing fierce into EX. That's going to do a lot of damage. Standing fierce into EX slash elbow. That's pretty much all he has from his standing fierce. You, his forward fierce actually. Now this move is plus 3 on block and it's plus 5 on hit. So you can actually do this and then link his standing standing jab and then you can do his low flash chop See? or you can do standing short right after the forward fierce and you get the EX flash chop so this is a really good move the only problem with this move is that if you're too far and they're crouching it whips that's the only problem with that move but it's good for when you're up close if you want to like apply pressure it's really good because it leaves you in plus and if you manage to land it, you can always just go for a combo. If you want to cancel it into super for more damage, you can do that. His other really good move is his Crouching Fierce. Works good as an anti-air. It also has juggle properties. You can combo right after it. Some of the combos he has right after it is his Crouching Fierce into Low Flash Chop. Or Crouching Fierce into EX. Air Knee Smash, I think it's called. And if you want the extra damage, you can just do the X flash chop right after that. Or if you want to go the extra mile, you do this. And the super, that's, that does a lot of decent damage. Like 400 something. Yeah, 432. So he has like a really good set of combos from his fierce. Gets really good damage off of it. Uh, what else can I mention about it? Pretty much all his combos for Alpha Fierce. 
And now I'm just going to go to, he actually has really good juggle potential, like I showed with his Crouching Fierce. And he has good combos after his special moves, like after his um, roundhouse slash elbow, he gets a good combos right after. So I'm going to go over those, which are his juggle combos and, and after specials, right after this. Okay, so now we're going to go from his combos off on special moves, like follow-ups after his special moves or regular juggle properties after certain combos. Uh, one of the things that you should really know about him is that his heavy slash elbow actually is good for combo extension. You can, after landing it, you can do something like EX flash chop right up, right here in the screen. So if you manage to like, if you're like more or less at a certain distance and you just decided to randomly throw it out and you hit him, you can always just do EX flash chop and it does 236 damage, it's really good. You can also do his super right after if you land it. You can make it super. Yeah, I did it too early. I'm sorry. There we go. Another thing you can do are in the corner, he has really good juggles after his flash shot. Let me just put him in the corner for a sec. This is really good. If you manage to land a roundhouse, Slash elbow. You can right after that you can do his air knee smash. Or you can do his low flash chop. But in the corner you can actually extend the combos a bit more. If you land the heavy slash elbow, you can actually do his scratching fierce and then do the air air knee smash. Let me show it right here. That's 240 damage pretty good. You can also do the same thing with the flash chop. See? Does a bit less damage, but it's really good as well. And if you want to get the extra damage, then you go into super right after the low flash chop and you get more damage. That should do around 400 something as well. Yeah, 437. So in the corner, so just keep that in mind that if you manage to get him with a, sla a heavy slash elbow, Mid screen, you can always go for EX Flash Chop or Super, and if you catch them in the corner, you can always go for the combo extender after the Crouching Fierce into the Air Knee Smash. You can also even like set up a reset if you want. Well, not really a reset, like a wake up set, a Noki setup right after, and you can cross them up. Uh, something else that you can keep in mind with his Fierce is that he also has, those are his juggles off of his Heavy Slash Elbow. He, he has a special normal, a unique uh, unique attack in his air, his down heavy punch in the air, which he does like a dive. That move uh, does a lot of hit stun in on hit, but in the air it causes juggle. So you can actually do certain combos right after landing it. One of his go-to combos, let me just put him so he can jump, so I can do the combo right now. <coughs> okay. So Ken's jumping. One of the combos he can do is that he can do his jump down fierce into EX, um, EX Air Knee Smash. You can do his normal one or you can do his EX, doesn't really matter. If you want the extra damage, you can do three EX. Okay. Another combo he has right after that is that you can actually land his down fierce right after. So you can do... But if you do that, you always have to go for the EX because uh, you're too far to do the other, to do any other regular ones. See, they come out too slow. Let me see if I can. Just want to show that you you can't land it. See. It's too slow. Now another thing you can do right after. You already saw that I can do the EX knee smash. You can also do his low flash chop. It's a bit harder to land because it, it catches him like almost when he's about to hit the ground. So it's a bit more specific. See, like it catches him right when he's about to hit the ground. So it's a bit more inconsistent if you do it too late because it's gonna whiff. So you can just, I would suggest that, well, if you don't want to spend the meter, then just go for the low flash chop, obviously. But if you want to make sure that you get him, you always should go for the, if you caught him with the down fierce, you should always go for the EX. And if you just want to go Hail Mary and just see if it, you get the whole combo, 
you do the super and you get the extra damage. It's very good to be very aware with Alex whenever you catch them with a certain hit so that you can convert it off of good damage because he actually does a lot of damage off of very few hits so that's like a bit ridiculous on his sense but I think he needs it in the fact that he doesn't have like the most variety of combos or extensions so the very few hits that he gets you have to really take advantage of it. So that would that goes for all his special moves and juggles. He has a lot more stuff to, uh, that we can go over and I'm gonna do additional videos covering a lot more in depth as we always do with, like we did for Fang and Bison. So now we're gonna go for his counter hit combos and we're gonna start the same way we did the last time. Um, we're gonna go counter hit, counter hits off of low attacks, then we're gonna go counter hits off of medium attacks, then heavy attacks, then counter hits off specials because he has combos after counter hits with his special moves. So we're gonna go through all that right now so that you guys can more or less get an idea what to do when you catch them on a counter hit. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the part one of episode seven where we're going over his Alex's basic combos. Part two, parts three, and part four, every single day after today, they're gonna be posted up on the Gamers Grid TV channel. So you can just check out the Gamers Grid TV channel every other day, or you can click on the links on the screen or in the description below, and if it's the other day, then you can just click on it and you'll go right straight to the video. So make sure to, if you like the videos, like we always say, if you like the videos, give us a like. If you like what we're doing, if there's any additional feedback that you guys want to give us, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to our videos so that you can always be up to date with every time we upload a video regarding any of the breakdowns or if we're doing any of the running sets. That being said, oh, and follow us on Twitter, obviously, uh, at GamersGridTV or at MonoPR. We always put it up here on the screen as well, so I'll see you guys in part two.